Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. And today's game up on the tabletop is called Stolen Paintings by Bruno Fiduti and Eagle Griffin Games. Plays uh, two to eight players or more, 30 minutes and ages eight and up. And in the game, Stolen Paintings, we are... We are detectives trying to figure out which art piece the art steep art thief stole. That's right. So basically the museum has lost some paintings and we're working together as detectives to determine what paintings were uh, stolen. Now this is a competitive game. It plays one versus many, but also the many are not on each other's side necessarily. You're trying to guess which paintings were stolen and score the most points each round up until everybody has gotten a turn to play. You can play more uh, longer if you'd like, more rounds, you can play with more players if you want, and uh, there's over 200 pieces of artwork in the game. So let's go ahead and show you down below what the game looks like, we'll explain how to play the game, and then we'll come up and talk about what we like about it. So the gameplay is that out of 200 possible paintings, 24 of them are laid out in a 6x4 format, and you guys get one minute, according to this timer, to memorize them and you can use however method you want description a mnemonic whichever and then everyone has to close their eyes except for the art thief which then they choose between one and three paintings to take out all of the other ones are put in a separate deck yeah a discard pile yeah and then they add from the new deck however many cards they need to to make a new total of eight cards once they have it laid out how they want, they let everyone know, okay, you can open your eyes. And then you can use these numbering chips to number them one through eight or one through 12, depending on which variant kind. you're playing. Yeah. yeah. And um, everybody tries to circle on their pad which painting they think are the ones that were stolen from the original set. That's right. And you only lose points based on incorrect guesses not if you didn't guess the total amount of paintings yeah. yeah so basically like if you were to guess one of the three stolen paintings and there were three you would score points you wouldn't lose any points and the thief is only going to score points if you guess incorrectly so more players equals more possible points for the thief and depending on what players choose uh they can score the thief a ton of points if i chose three incorrect paintings that's three points for the thief and i lose negative th I get negative three points for the round and yeah you play as many rounds as you want you can play up to eight rounds or you can play 12 or 16 if you really want to and whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner I suggest playing at least one round around the table so everybody gets to be the thief or even two rounds if you really want the game's rather quick 30 minutes to 60 minutes pretty straightforward game let's yeah. go ahead and review the game now we'll discuss how we like the game mm -hmm. and whether or not you guys should pick up the game stolen paintings uh Bruno Fiditi by Eagle Griffin Games so let's talk about Stolen Paintings by Eagle Griffin Games. Mm -hmm. This is a art game. It's got a thieving aspect to it, memory aspect to it, and of course, uh, you're going to be having to look at a bunch of classical paintings. So uh, these are all paintings from history, Mona Lisa, The Scream, so on and so forth, which is actually nice because it actually comes with a little booklet that uh, talks about all the different paintings, who made them, and when they were made, that kind of thing. And there's 200 of them, all beautifully designed. Uh, personally, I like the artwork. I, I mean, you really can't go wrong when you just you have all the master's paintings right there in front of you. So I thought this was a good choice, especially when it comes to a game with paintings. Actually using the classic paintings really works yeah. well. And uh, what do you think? I really enjoyed the game. Uh, I... I love memory games. I also love it has a bit of a bluffing aspect to it, too. Yep. Um, I could say, guess which paintings I stole when I took out only one. So um, you can kind of go, and I agree, like you can say one, two, or three paintings can be taken, right? If you go with just one, you might, uh, you might not be able to score as many points if they realize that there's just one. But if they goof on that one and pick three of them, yeah. or even if they get that one right and pick multiples, you're going to score a ton of points as the thief. And you can go the opposite way as well. Yeah. And I love the variety of art styles included. Um, they all look similar and different at the same time. Like, yeah. there's some of them that I'm like, oh, there's a guy in the black suit, and then there's the other guy in the black suit. But is this the guy in the black suit from the two I remember? And I, oh, it, tricks, it trips you up, right? Yeah. So memory it plays a huge role in this game. 
I also really appreciate that they have a very clear but um, small label on the cards for to reference back into the booklet of the paintings. Yeah, so you can kind of take a yeah. look at the different styles of the masterpieces that are laid before you. Um, yeah, it's definitely a memory game. It's one of those things where if you're not good with memory, it's going to help you be able to get better. But I think it's interesting at a certain point, uh, after you've gone through all the cards, the next time you play the game, after seeing all the cards, it gets more challenging. Because you go, yeah. oh, did I actually see this card previously? Or was that literally the last time we played this game? Yeah. I noticed that when we've had multiple play sessions, the the third time setting out the play session, I'm sitting there going, I've seen all these before, but which ones did I see on yeah. the previous, on this last round? Or you have a description of the paintings to yourself, but then amongst the new eight cards are ones that also fit that description or also fit that color palette, and it's like, ooh. Yeah, you can, you some of these you can tell, like, okay, this is a very specific type of painting, or at least you would think so, especially because all of these paintings are done by uh, masters of the paint. Yeah. <laughs> but then you get something like this, and you're like, oh, okay, this one has the same type of stylization, the same kind of colors, and your brain will play tricks on you throughout the game. Uh, and it fools me. I'm, I'm terrible at this game, hands down. What about you? <laughs> I won this game. I was pretty good at it. Yeah, she, she did. We played this on our live stream, and she dominated us. I, I, I'm i never good at memory games, but I really do enjoy this one. This is a great party game. Uh, artwork's solid. Yeah. The quality of the cards are nice. They're yeah. big. You can see them from a distance. Yeah. And you can have as many players play yeah. this game as you want. And you could have possible expansion packs for the future. Yeah, you just add more paintings. Yeah. And if you guys want, for instance, if it's an art class, for instance, you can maybe add a layer to it of also guess the artist of it or the style of it or you have to include the name of the painting this would be a good game essence. for yeah that's exactly right because I, I remember going to some art history museums and whatnot for my art class in college and i think this would have been a cool game to show off to the students so nice mm -hmm. little, like game in attached to historical context and whatnot so you have history you have art you have an actually good memory this is a solid memory game with that's challenging and is going to be good for your mind too this is a good way yeah. to use your mind and memorize things i specifically like to use mnemonics for each of the cards. Well, if I think of, I don't know, uh, for instance, this one here, I just remember the word praying. This is a person sitting there with their hands folded down. And, you know, somebody else might think of a, a graveyard or like a, a death in the family. Yeah. Um, or I think maybe muted farm people. Yep. It's muted colors and, and two farmers. And you have to do quickly 24 of them. So you have to memorize yeah. 24 words in a single yeah. round. But, and, yeah. And it's within a minute and it's just with 24 cards, it it goes quickly. Yeah. You can play this game too. We played this live. We actually had other people guessing what paintings the, the, the thief had stolen. So you can actually play with your family across Zoom or online yeah. utilizing the actual physical cards. I mean, this yeah. could also be turned into an app, obviously. Uh, this is one of my favorite games from Eagle Griffin. I know that's, that's crazy to say because I like Francis Drake. I like... Uh, I like, there's certain ones I really like of theirs, but this one here is a great solid party game. Uh, it's, it, it obviously has a strong emphasis on memory, and that leads me into the p potential negatives, right? Uh, I, I don't personally have anything wrong. I, I, I don't find any flaws with this game as for how it stands, but it definitely holds a certain audience. If, if you don't want to have a hard thinking game, because you do have to use um, mnemonics and like certain ways mm -hmm. to memorize the cards, then this is going to be a challenge for you. And it might not be for you either if you just hate memory games. Yeah. I probably would have preferred if they have um, some kind of deck stand for the discard pile so you can keep track of them better. But um, all in all, I, I love this game. Yeah? Yeah. It was... Uh, it's definitely, like as my cousin says, it hurt my brain after, but I had fun. Yeah, and this would be a fun fun game for any time of the year any age group oh yeah yeah i think anybody you know at a, a certain point eight and up or something like that as long as they, yeah. they're good at you know using your memory you can use less cards too if you're playing with younger kids yeah. so you don't have to use all 24 or you could use more if you really want to get creative there i suppose yeah. and yeah there's a ton of room for expansions so uh yeah solid game overall stolen paintings approved as tom vassal would say yeah and if you're interested in it check out the link on the bottom yeah, it's a good one. I forgot about saying that. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Stolen Paintings uh, by Eagle Griffin Games. If you're interested, like she said before, link down below in the description. You can also go ahead and watch our live streams every, what day? Wednesday night. Yeah, what time? 
6.30. PM PST every Wednesday on Facebook. And you can also go and watch the rest of our videos here. In fact, if you're watching, go ahead and click on the next one and subscribe and hit that bell notification button. It's right on her face. I'm putting it there right now. And don't forget uh, to pay attention to any giveaways we have happening. That's true. We got giveaways on the live stream and on the website. Speaking of the website, uh, we have blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. A top five board game list. We have our best Christmas gift guide ideas or gifts at this point. Christmas is getting close. Probably going to miss that date on shipping. But yeah, you can check out the website as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah. Thank you, Karina, for joining us on a little review. Thank uh, you for having me. A here. new gateway gamer giving uh, her opinion on a game. I think it's really relevant and useful as an old fogey like me kind of give a good mix between yeah. us i did not have a variety exposure to games before i started hanging out with them and it's it's been fun good games should be fun <laughs> thank you guys so much and as always i look forward to seeing you guys next, next time, time. Eh. next time you'll do better maybe <laughs>